Hey everybody, Brian Bauman from Bauman's Farm and Garden. And Jessica and me wanted to kind of keep going on our basket theme and move on to another really cool group of plants. These are called Calabrocoa, Calabrochas, however you want to say it. Actually, a lot of people call them million bells. And one of the reasons they do that is because million bells was one of like the very first series that came out of Calabrocoas and they're beautiful, but now this this section has exploded. There are so many different ones to choose from and finding the right one to create that perfect hanging basket or planter is, um, there's just a lot to sort through. So I wanted to kind of walk you down some of the baskets that I've been growing this year, show you some that are working good, some that are not maybe exactly up to par. But the first thing I wanna say is petunias. We were talking about petunias the other day. Petunias want as much sun as possible. And if they don't get a lot of sun, what you find is um, they start searching for the light and they'll start growing apart. The beautiful thing about Calabrocoas is, is they're not like that. They are fine in kind of a half day sun, half day shade. Um, specifically, a lot of people have front porches or patios, right? And especially if it's facing west or it gets kind of hot afternoon sun, even petunias, it's one, not enough sun for them. And any shade item, it's, it gets too hot in the afternoon and they burn. Calabrocoas can take those part sun, part shade conditions better than any other plant, which makes them really, really good for hanging baskets, for front porches, patios, and even in containers. So kind of keep that in mind. Proven Winners has a wonderful series of Calabrocoas. They're called Super Bells. And one of the things about Super Bells, and in Calabrocoas in general, is that you really want to watch the growth habit because they can vary greatly. Um, some of them, so this is, um, this is a Super Bells basket right here. In here we have Lemon Slice, which has really kind of become to known one of, it's one of our top selling. It is such a beautiful color. Yellow is so hard to find in general in flowers, but the yellow in Lemon Slice is so bright, that white kind of contrasts really nice with it. It, it has a beautiful growth habit. And Super Bells in general are mounding. They're gonna kind of come up and then kind of spill over the side. This one has lemon slice and coral sun in it. When, just like with petunias, if you are picking out calabrocoas within that same series, the super bells in general, I find that most of them grow really well together. One of the things I like about this hanging basket is that you have lemon slice, you have coral sun, all kind of poking in and around each other. So you don't end up with one big blotch of one and a blotch of another, or one going up, one going down. Everything seems to play really well together. Calabrocos are great. I oftentimes like to add just a little bit of texture to go in the hanging baskets with them. This particular one, I'm using a chocolate creeping Jenny. I think that dark color really highlights the other colors in this hanging basket. It's gonna trail down nicely with it, give it a different color and texture. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple more Super Bells in a minute. The next basket that I have here this is um, called Magic Pink Lemonade. Why do they call it Magic? So one of the things that you want to know with Super Bells, certain um, Super Bells and Calabrocos in general, they change the color of their blossom based on how the night temperatures, how warm or how cold it is, and also how much light it's getting. So in the middle of the summer when it's, you've got really long lights, you've got really warm night temperatures, and um, the basket's growing really fast, the color changes. So we're in Oregon right now, the spring is been cool nights, we're starting to warm up. And with pink, pink lemonade, you'll notice this really dark pink on some of the older blossoms here. This is from cooler night temperatures. But as we start to warm up, you'll see that the newer blossoms coming out have very little pink and are much more lemony yellow. So you almost get more than one plant in a basket it looks like. It's like different colors in one. So I always like to ask to know what's going to happen as the season goes on. Not all of them do this. Some of them will stay the same color all summer long, but this pink lemonade, there's another series called Chameleons. Um, there's two or more on top of that as well that will change as the season goes on. This one is really pretty in that it's super tight, super compact, does really well with a lot of different plants, which I like. Again, it's gonna like that kind of part sun, part shade area. It'll take full sun as well. Uh, I put some lantana in with this one and it has some angelonia coming up as well. 
really great basket. I think this is gonna bloom really well all summer and kind of change as the season goes on. Those are some of my favorite super bells. And you can tell they're kind of growing up, out, and around. The next one is a different series of caliber koas. Um, these are from a company called Selecta. And in Selecta, there are different series of caliber koas. One of the nice things about those series is it really kind of groups the growth habit. You'll find with some super bells that they can stay pretty compact. They're never gonna get very big. They call those Unos. Uno caliber koas from Selecta stay very compact. You'll find them in a lot of smaller pots at the garden center because they're never going to get very big. The series that I like for hanging baskets is called Neo. And I love this series because of the really true colors that you'll find in them. The red in this basket is called Vampire. It is a just blood red, thus the name Vampire. Really pretty, has a little bit of a yellow throat to it. Great for a really nice red in a hanging basket. The yellow, this is Neo Deep Yellow. You will not find a better yellow in a petunia, in any other thing that you're going to put in a hanging basket. Caliber Koa has the best bright yellow for a hanging basket and then Neo Dark Blue. I love the kind of primary colors in this basket. They're gonna go well all summer long. These particular ones are not gonna change color throughout the season. They're gonna stay the same. You will also see in this basket, Neos tend to go straight across and then down. So for me personally, I have a hard time when I put something in the center of the basket that goes up with this, and then I have something going straight across and down, the two look very disconnected. And to me, I, I just don't think that's a good look. I want them to be consistent throughout the hanging basket. In a planter container, that's another thing, right? Have a thriller, some fillers, and some spillers. Having it in a hanging basket just go straight up or straight down, it doesn't look, it doesn't look, for lack of a better term, I think it doesn't look like you know what you're doing, right? It's like you tried two different things and they went two different ways. Some people like it. There's a gal that works with us, Mary. She loves it. The whole idea of something coming up the top, something going down the side, she loves it. She thinks it's exciting. I think it's crazy. It drives my OCD off the charts. Neos are fantastic. Let me show you a couple more Neos. This is another combination of Neos. Uh, this is Neo Deep Purple. We have Neo White, which is a lot of times, a lot of people for hanging baskets will use a white bacopa. Bacopa is great. It's very versatile. It'll take sun. It'll take shade. If bacopa dries out in the summertime, it just sheds all of its blossoms. And who doesn't forget to water their hanging basket at some point in time? And then you end up with this big green hanging basket and no white flowers. Caliber Coal White is a way to keep white in your hanging basket, especially if you have kind of part sun, part shade. And it's going to bloom all summer and just keep going. Another fantastic thing about caliber koas, when I was talking about petunias, I was telling you about seed versus vegetative. I haven't talked about that because there's very, very few seed caliber koas. They just haven't come up with any that can do anywhere near the vegetative varieties. So when I'm talking about vegetative, I mean the only way to propagate these, they don't actually form seeds, is by a cutting. So I'm taking a piece of the vegetation to grow a new cutting. That's pretty much all you're gonna get in caliber koas. Because of that, and they don't produce viable seed, there's no deadheading. There's no picking off any flowers. These guys are gonna bloom all summer long. The other thing about caliber koas, since their blossoms are so small and kind of delicate, it, even when the blossoms die, like, I mean, I haven't touched this hanging basket. I literally pulled it off the rack out here. Um, I have never once picked a blossom off of here you do not see any dead blossoms anywhere on the hanging basket. So you don't have to worry about keeping it clean. It's going to look fresh and new and exciting all summer long, which I think is great. Another deep color, I got deep bark, deep dark blue and neo deep yellow and with the purple and white. It's all in that same series. They're all growing well, really well together. I just think it's a beautiful combination. One thing that's kind of exciting, I think about caliber koas is that there's a lot of different color patterns. Um, you can find a lot of different ones. This particular one in here is called Neo Pink Hawaii. And you can see with that light pink, with a dark pink center, with yellow kind of going out to a white, you get a whole bunch of different colors all in one blossom. They're very stable, meaning each blossom is identical. You're not getting some that are more pink, some that are more yellow. It's very consistent. And you can find a lot of different caliber koas that uh, are gonna give you some really cool colors. 
Neo Pink Kawaii is in that Neo series from Selecta. Again, I know I can pair it with other Neos. This is Neo Deep Pink. Um, there's Neo Deep Yellow in here. So that I end up with a hanging basket that's going to be covered in flowers and beautiful all summer long. It's hard because a lot of companies have, um, Selecta has a really great series. I use them all the time. Um, Proven Winners has Super Bells, which I really like. Uh, Doom and Orange is another really good grower. They have a variety for hanging baskets called Konas. I love those as well. But sometimes what you find is people who are developing new caliber coas find some really cool, they call one-offs. There, there's no series with them. And they're just really cool flowers and different. And that's this next hanging basket I wanted to show you. So uh, this particular one is called Dracula. We're back to that kind of deep red, uh, blood red with a dark throat to it. This Calvarco is a standalone. There is nothing else in the series. It is just Dracula. I hope that they come out with more that go with it. And so a lot of times what I find with individual plants that are not in the series is that you have to kind of play with it. Ask the people who have grown it, how does it gonna grow? You can tell this one, if you compare these two side by side, these varieties are definitely going more upright. The neos are coming across and down. So I'm trying to pair the caliber coas together based on that growth habit. And when it's a one-off outside of a series, sometimes it's just trial and error. But I think Dracula is so pretty. There's another couple one-offs in here. This is uh, Pink Diamond, which is also beautiful. And I paired it actually with Kona Yellow. That's from Duman. And Konas in general are more moundy than like the Neos that go straight across. So. I like to make sure if they're all gonna mound, that they're all mounding together and look really good. There's a lot of different caliber koas, but I wanted to show you a couple more that I think are just beautiful. I was running around uh, picking out different colors of caliber koas and I, <laughs> there's a lot to choose from. There's a lot of options. The next kind of batch that I wanted to talk about is doubles. So just like double petunias, there are double calabrocoas. This is a brand new one this year from Proven Winners. It's called Vintage Coral. And each year when I'm looking at the new flowers, I'm always trying to kind of forecast which ones are going to be really exciting. I love this plant. I think it is so beautiful. We had very few of them available to get started. Double calabrocoas, like double petunias, there's a little bit more to the flower. So when the flower dies, you definitely see it a little more. You might want to pull it off. Um, but I find with the Proven Winners varieties and their Super Bells are still pretty consistent in terms of growth habit, but maybe not in terms of vigor. So this particular one is pretty vigorous. It can stand up with a lot of petunias. This is another new one that I was really excited about. This one is called Double Redstone. And you can tell already just looking at the growth habit of this, this guy is um, it's beautiful but very compact, not nearly as vigorous as the other Super Bowls. So it doesn't really pair well with a lot of petunias. Most of them would just cover it right up. I like to use this as more of like a little accent plant. Um, really pretty flowers, very unusual, but just not as vigorous. This one is kind of in between. This is another new one this year from Proven Winners called Double Smitten Pink. Really pretty light pink with a dark pink center. Um, it's medium vigor. It's not as vigorous as vintage coral, but um, still can keep up with a lot of other caliber koas. Really nice. And last but not least, this is like one of their first ones that came out. This is double orange. Really pretty double orange flowers. This is again, pretty vigorous, can keep up with some of the other ones. Beautiful orange color, really pretty, works great. So I was talking a little bit about Neos and uh, the different varieties uh, from Selecta. So this is a good example. Selecta has a couple um, double calbricos as well. This one is called, um, on the left is Orange Flame and on my right is Orange Tastic. What a name, right? Both of these are Unos. They're going to be very small and compact. Work great as little accent plants, but not great for like big hanging baskets. This is Neo Double Deep Yellow. So double flowers, but this is in the Neo, Neo series. So it's gonna be much more vigorous and hold up with a lot of other flowers. There's a couple more caliber coas besides these and I wanna talk a little bit about care. So follow me to the next spot. Check out these three colors together. This is another series from another company. These are from Ball Horticulture. These are called Bumblebees. There's Bumblebee Blue, Bumblebee Pink, 
And last but not least, Bumblebee Orange. They have very consistent patterns, but very striking colors. And that's what I really like. The Bumblebee Pink is that really hot pink, which really stands out in a combination. Great for contrasting other ones. Bumblebee Blue is a really nice true blue. Uh, it's not really a dark blue, not so much periwinkle. It's a nice blue with that yellow throat. The contrast within the flower itself is fantastic. And orange, orange to me really makes a lot of things pop. It really works for summertime. It gives you that kind of warm feeling with it. All three of these can be paired together. They all have very similar growth habits. Really great series. And I hope they come out with some more colors because these three are fantastic. There's a couple things to remember in terms of care with caliber colors. They really work well in hanging baskets. They really work well in containers or pots that you have in your front porch or patio. I just have not had a lot of success with putting them in the ground. It, I think it has to do as the summer goes on and the pH of the soil changes based on the amount of water and what's going on. I have never had very good success with them in the ground. In containers and in baskets, excellent. All summer long, work great. A lot of times with petunias, you get, especially in the Northwest, we get a lot of budworm. Um, that's a big problem. I don't find that calbercoas get them as bad, but they still can. The main problem I have with calbercoas is aphids. Aphids is one of the things to watch for, and it's they're almost hard to see. And so what I tell um, all of our staff, especially when they're pulling plants, we're always kind of checking to make sure, is to look on the back of the flower. On the underside of the leaf is where you will see them. That's where they're hiding. That's where they are sucking away on the juices of that flower. So that's where I'm always looking to make sure that I catch things before it gets too far along. Calibercoas are a great plant to add to your hanging baskets. It's gonna make it look fantastic, but part sun, part shade. They work well by themselves. They work well with a lot of other different fillers to go with it. So stay tuned for our next video because Jessica and me are gonna take a look at some of the fillers that can go with the petunias, with the calibercoas to bring everything together to create that amazing hanging basket. So like, subscribe, follow along. We got a lot more information coming your way.